now joined by Chai Wai and Captain Nicola Carey of The Spirit. Nicola, I've got to come to you first. What a knock. How good did you feel out there? Oh, look, it's... <laughs> I don't know. I, it was nice to um, spend a bit of time out in the middle, but I do feel sorry for the bowlers. Um, it's a tough wicket to bowl on. The wicket's certainly getting a lot better as well, so not as tacky as the other ones that we've played on. And I feel like we keep getting closer and closer to the um, to the uh, to the grandstand, I suppose. So, um, oh look, it's nice to be out there, but yeah, really tough day for the bowlers um, on both sides. And I think um, I guess what worked for us was sort of the left hand right hand combination that we were able to have out there for a lot of our innings. So. Um, yeah, I mostly just feel bad for the bowls, to be fair. I feel bad for people in the stands that were taking cover when you were going on a mad one. But Chai Wei, um, you're into the final four. How good does that feel? Uh, you mean when we feel it, right? So, like, we're into you the finals? For the oh, finals. How good is that? Yeah, really happy because uh, this is a first time for me for uh, Joy is a fabric. And uh, so we, we can go in the semi-final and... I think it's, it's, it's good for me because I want to play more game with uh, like Nick and uh, Dang Le. Yeah, I want to play more game with them. Yeah. And how much are you enjoying your first fair break experience? Uh, how much, how to say, I think it's a big, big fun for me. Uh, and uh, I think it's a good opportunity for the uh, SOS 8 player yeah, and for me also, I feel like a, it's not a less fun to play with them, to play with the international player. And uh, in our team, we, we don't say, we don't we don't talk each other too much, but when we meet the fed, we just smile and take some shake hand. Yeah, I think it's a very good uh, relationship. Yeah. Um, and Nick, one of the associate players in Hong Kong, said it was good that full member players got to experience cricket in the places where associates normally play. You mentioned the pitch and the smaller boundaries. What was that like? What's that like for you when you could have played somewhere massive like the MCG? <laughs> the MCG is a bit too big, actually, so I'm glad we're here. Um, that's my batting hat on, if it was my bowling hat taking me to the MCG. Um, no, look, I think it's awesome. Like, we, you know, I've, I've never come to Hong Kong before and um, certainly playing cricket in Australia, it doesn't bring us to Hong Kong. So to be able to experience these conditions, really unique and a really cool experience. And I guess it's what it's all about. Like it's really cool to sort of, I guess, see what other teams or other girls in other countries experience and, um, you know, hear their stories and um, how they go about things um, back home in their country. So um, I think it's really cool. I think that's the beauty of cricket. It sort of takes you to places that perhaps you didn't think you'd end up. So um, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it here. And you get to play, I guess, alongside and against people you wouldn't necessarily yeah that's exactly right like that's that's the whole point of it isn't it to bring people from all over the world together and um yeah play with and against players that you don't normally get to um play against or play with so um i think it's a huge learning opportunity for everyone um no matter what country you're from and i think that's you know that's what's so good about this tournament um and we've got some questions so i'm going to go to gomesh's question first he's sent through um he says, Nick Carey, it's been in such good form this tournament, hardly putting a foot wrong. How has it been to have a, quote, truckload of runs on Oh, yeah, I mean, I feel like I haven't done um, that well with the ball, so I suppose it's better lift me game for the um, other half of the innings and um, score a few runs for the team. So, oh, look, I think, again, like it's – it does sort of favour the batters a little bit, these conditions, um, especially on a day like today. So I guess when one thing's not working, it's nice to have something else that you can go to um, and have a different aspect of the game that um, you can focus on and perhaps contribute to the team. So I guess that's been nice. Um, and Mowit, go ahead. Hi, Nick. Um, you mentioned that the Spirit have played Yeah, it's probably been a bit more relaxing this year. Um, last year it was a bit of a whirlwind. I uh, wasn't quite expecting it and hadn't done a heap of it, to be fair. So I sort of knew what I was coming into this year um, and off the back of that experience last year. So 
um, yeah, I certainly feel a little bit better about it this year. And it, it's really cool. Like we've, we've got um, a similar core group to what we had last year. So I know a lot of the girls now and then, um, you know, bringing some new additions into the team as well. And it's been so like easy and seamless, um, them coming into the team. And the girls are really experienced. Like they know what they want. They know what they're trying to do. So um, it makes my job a lot easier. And it, it's always helpful when you get other captains in the team to bounce ideas off. Oh, go on, man. We'll allow it. Thank you. Uh, Naru, I'm all uh, the Thai players uh, have been represented really well in fair play. Uh, Chanira bowled a great spell today. Jeans also batted really well. So as a Thailand captain, how happy that they are getting, how happy <laughs> are you that they are getting this exposure and how do you read it to their form? So I'm really happy with uh, the them performance today. Um, I just think they have uh, ability, but uh, today is they just show, they just show uh, them performance, and uh, I think it's good good for us to play in the fabric. I think is if they play more, they will have the good experience more, and I think they will develop in the the Thailand team. Yeah. So we're joined by captain of the tornado, Stefani Taylor, alongside Ariana Dows. Um, Stefani, not the day for the tornadoes today. How are you feeling? <laughs> yeah, it's one of those pills that, you know, it's so hard to swallow. Um, I thought we we had a decent total on the board to, to defend, but yeah, you know, we still come come up a bit short. Um, and particularly for you, you found some form with the bat today. How did that feel? And then to be on the losing side with having put in a performance like that as well? Well, it felt good. It felt good to be out there. Um, I feel like probably in the last maybe six or five overs, I could have gone a bit harder. Um, but yeah, it, it felt good. Um, I guess with that performance, it's it's kind of hard to, you know, to be on the be on the losing side. But yeah, I mean, with a performance like Nick Carey, um, you know, they did deserve the point. And Ariana, not the year for the tornadoes, not into the semi-finals. But what's it been like to be part of this team? joining up with Fairbreak for its second edition? Well, going into it, it was all good spirits. One of the defending champion teams, so it was everyone was very good at welcoming me as one of the new players, and team spirits were high at the start, and obviously they've taken knock off knock with loss after loss, but that's somehow how it goes in the cricket world, so just, yeah. Um, but aside from perhaps the results, how much are you enjoying being part of Team Tornadoes? It's a good team to be a part of, definitely. I think the girls have all welcomed me with big arms kind of thing and it's a good group yeah and what kind of learnings have you taken so far from playing alongside the likes of Stefani Taylor yeah I haven't picked her brain just yet but um the girls have been talking to me on on and off the pitch about their experiences and how they do mentally when you've got amazing players playing against you and what the mindset is there and how they go about their business and I'm learning from them so that's the takeaway I've been taking yeah um, and Gomesh, I'm going to come to you for a question first, if that's okay. Hi, Stefani. Harlequin Gopisnam today. Uh, you've had your fair of challenges or injuries, uh, often uh, missing out on tournaments and matches because of it. How is it for you, you know, to be in this tournament and uh, playing all the games and performing as well as you have so far? Well, it's been a tough um, five months being out, and given that I haven't been playing cricket consistently, um, and to be here and to be playing, um, I think that's a big plus for me. I know that I still have to um, get my fitness done to, to get my body back to, you know, to peak form, um, and I'm doing just that, but I just know that it will take, yeah, one step at a time. Thank you. Um, and I have a question that's come in from Dipesh to Stefani. Um, it's been a tough year for the Tornadoes. Have you missed having the likes of Sophie Devine and Katie Martin at any point, perhaps just their experience as part of the setup? Well, I don't think you could fill a gap like a, a Sophie Devine. And um, probably we miss a little bit of that where, you know, you have that burst. And given the field that we're playing on, um, yeah, we could definitely use that. Um, Katie Martin, um, 
yeah, it's always good to have those experiences. Um, and you know, the last year we, we, we had that and yeah, it, it, it was, it was good, but yeah, we, we get someone who's probably a bit younger and you know, you can nurture them and you know, they get that experience as well. So yeah, we, sometimes you, you lose, but you know, I think we actually gain, um, Ariane, which is actually growing and I, and yeah, it's, um, yeah, we, we love having her a, a part of the team. Yeah, and it's about that rebuild and that nurturing, like you say. So growing into perhaps the fifth, sixth playoff, and then into the next tournament, you'll have that grounding looking ahead. And if Mohit, we'll take the last question from you. Uh, thanks, Georgie. Uh, hi, Stephanie. Y'all were the defending champions, but it's been a tough season for you this year. Just wanted to know whether you and Tane have been fit to bowl or whether you've had injury concerns, which is why the two of y'all haven't bowled right through this tournament? Um, for me, mainly, yes, is um, <clears throat> fitness. Well, injury, injury, um, getting back um, my body back up to standard. So, yeah, while I'm while I'm okay to to have a bat, I'm just not yet up to standard to bowl. Um, I'm not sure with um, Dane. I think with Dane is probably, you know, you know, getting more games under her belt and building that confidence to, you know, to get back out on the pitch and and, and bowl. Um, and Stefan, across you and all the best. Thanks. Across the tournament, you would agree that the cricket that we've seen has really been of the highest standards from the top players, from the associates. What has your experience of this year been like and witnessing some of the performances we've seen? Well, I could tell you that it's really hard to bowl on a, on a, on a, on a, on a, on a, on a ground um, so small. Um, yeah, I really do feel sorry for the, for the bowlers, but I think so far the, the competitiveness is, has been really good. Um, from you know associate players and international players and yeah I've been getting you know feedback people staying up late to watch the games and um, yeah it's been really good so far. And final one for me how much have you seen those associate players and their sort of the way they hold themselves in the game grow now that they've had more of this experience at their rate offers them? Well, given what last year and this year, I, I find that the associate players are way better this year. Um, and I guess because of the exposure and having international players, you know, playing with them and yeah, with the likes of, you know, having, you know, fair break, giving them that opportunity um, where they could play in England. And also, you know, they, I think they recently went to Australia. So they're getting that exposure playing with international players. So yeah, it helps their game as well.